Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now you may notice things are looking a little different today and there's a good reason why. Effectively, if this has all gone to plan, I'm gonna use the product we're reviewing today to help make my entire YouTube video come to life. You may have heard of Motion VFX before, but they create plugins for Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Apple Motion. And at this point, they have a very extensive library of them. So when they reached out to me and asked if I'd like to take a look at some of their plugins, I was really excited. Just a quick note, I'm not being paid to make this review and Motion VFX don't get to see it before it comes out. Making videos is hard work, trust me, I know. And one of the main reasons I see this being the case is because there are so many aspects to it. From the idea, to writing a script, sourcing locations, scheduling, filming, making sure the sound is good, editing, audio mastering, color grading, and of course, motion elements. This includes things like title screens, lower thirds, callouts, and other visuals which help you to communicate with your audience. And even if you do have knowledge in programs such as Adobe After Effects, it can be extremely time consuming to put these together. And that's effectively what MTuber is trying to help with. It's a collection of elements for Final Cut Pro that makes it really painless to integrate some of these professional looking motion elements into your video with very little work. This includes things like calls to action, intros, social media callouts, transitions, and backgrounds. The cost of the plugin is $99, and I think for what it contains, it's pretty good value. Especially when you consider a subscription to a service like Envato Elements, which gets you access to many pre-built templates, will cost you more per year and requires much more work from the creator side too. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button to become a part of the channel. And without any further introduction, let's dive in and take a look at what this plugin can do. All right, so now we're in Final Cut and it's just a random, a bunch of assortment of clips that I've put together to showcase some of the features of this plugin. Now, there are so many aspects to this, I can't cover every single one of them, but I wanted to showcase a few key ones that I think are gonna be really useful to creators. So what I wanna do is I wanna head over to my titles tab over here. And as you can see on the side, I've got MTuber 3. And if I just click on that, you'll see all the elements that I have, calls to action, backgrounds, chapter bars, corner screens, intros, there's a lot here. So what I wanna do first is given this is my YouTube video, let's say for example, I wanna go ahead and add an introduction to begin with. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more till I get to intros. Here we go. And I'm gonna just basically scrub through them. So if I sort of just hover my cursor over it and move it, I kinda of see what these all look like. So once I've had a little bit of a look at all these different intros, I'm just gonna choose one that sort of takes my fancy. In this case, I kinda of like the red, the really bold red of this particular intro. So I'm gonna just drag it into my timeline. And if I play through, as you can see, I've already got my intro. What's really nice about that is I've got ins and out animations already, which is great. And this is something obviously, uh, if you are someone like me in my YouTube videos, I like to talk a bit first and then there's an intro that plays and then it goes back to me. Having those in and out anima animations are really helpful and really useful. Now, what's really good though, is that there's a lot of parameters you can adjust and a lot of changes you can make. So these aren't just preset things that are gonna look the same for every single person. You can actually make it uniquely your own. In this case, because I've added it to the start of my video, it looks a bit awkward that I'm standing there or sitting there and then all of a sudden it just animates into this intro. What I feel like it should do is just have the intro to begin with. So what I can do is I can come over here to the parameters tab and I can turn off the animation in. And I really like this about this plugin because it allows basically that whole first part to just turn off completely. And now I've just got my introduction and then it sort of goes back into the video and still animates out to me talking. If I scroll down a little bit as well, I can also do things like change the intro element clone color. I can add my logo, obviously. In this case, I've got just your logo and that's probably not what we're gonna wanna have, to be honest. So intro type, I could actually change it to text if I would prefer. Uh, in this case, and welcome to my channel, maybe not what I wanna have. I'm gonna call it my channel. Let's have a look. My channel, okay. And obviously we can do things like change the font, for example. Um, let's go to something like soap. That's, that's a cool font, I actually really like that. And I can change the text size as well. It's like a really, really retro vibe, I like this. But also you can see as well, there's actually a few little zones here on the side that are like gadgets and technology. So again, these are things that I can all adjust if I sort of keep scrolling down, change things like gadgets, technology, and also change things like the background elements too. So as you can see, there's like a lot of customization here. There's, you can change the dot radius, the, the dot colors. 
If I wanna go ahead and change the whole background color because maybe let's say I mainly use blue, that's a very bold blue, but that is something I can do very easily. And now all of a sudden I have something that looks a little bit different. I can even change the background opacity, but of course you wouldn't wanna do this if for example, you have something underneath there you don't wanna show. Yeah, I really love the fact that there's just a lot of customization here. You can really do things like change the background element scale. You can change the curvature. Like these aren't just simple plugins. These aren't just simple, we've rendered out a few little video elements and they're good to go. These are things that you can actually adjust and change in Final Cut. And this is what I really appreciate about this plugin pack is it feels very premium. It feels very well built. But now that we have our introduction and maybe I could do a little bit more work on that, but for the sake of time, let's move on. Now that I'm starting to talk in the video, generally speaking, what we might expect to see is a little call to action to say subscribe. Um, and I think remind the audience that again, you're trying to build up your channel, you want them, you want their support. Uh, if you could please subscribe. That's also a little plug for me as well, actually. Uh, <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. Not that I was trying to, but what I can do is I can go over to the call to actions over here and I could choose, again, I could just sort of scroll over them and see which ones I like. There's, there's quite a few different ones here. Smash the like button. It's a YouTube pack, of course, it's got to have smash the like button. Otherwise, I, who would buy it? Uh, and then you've got call to action over here. Yeah, I like this one. It's quite subtle, it's quite, it's not in your face. I just wanna put that one on the side here while I'm having a chat to the audience and remind them to subscribe to my channel. So again, looking at our customization, we can do things like turn off the animation in and animation out. We can also change the positioning and the scale. Of course, we'd expect all this stuff, but I can also change the icon to 2D and I can actually do some work on the colors. So again, if I prefer to have it green, because that's my channel, and actually it's Christmas because now it's green and red, I can do that really easily. And also, subscribe 11K. I don't think I'm at 11K just yet, but what I can do is I can change that to whatever it is, 2K. So again, really simple. I can change the font again if I want. Uh, all this stuff is just, it's basically foolproof. You can't really go wrong with it. Turn on drop shadow if I'd like to get some separation. In this case, don't think it's making much of a difference. Obviously I'm looking at it on quite a small monitor, so it's a bit tough to see as well. But overall, I'm pretty happy with that. So that's my subscribe. All right, so a couple of other things I really like about this plugin are some of the tools that are included. Now, these are things that you could potentially go ahead and create yourself in After Effects and have as animated elements. But I guess to have them here like this already and have them ready to go and really easy to edit, it just makes it so much quicker and so much easier for you. So one of the things I really love is the pointer, right? Again, a simple element, but something that makes a big difference if you just need to quickly call something out, especially when you're talking about tutorials, for example. So if I just play this through, you can just see very quick, a bit unusual on a video like this because it's not really calling out anything in particular. But as you can imagine, if that was on a map, for example, or if it was a screen recording like this, and I just had a couple of different pointers pointing out exactly where I was clicking, I think that'd be really helpful. So the other one I really like is called Specs and Specs would allow me to go ahead and I'm just gonna drag it on here and just highlight a few key things about potentially a product. As you can see, this probably does lend itself quite well to like a tech review, for example. I can go ahead and change this to bad screen, bad battery life, classic design, poor performance. And so as you can see, really easy to customize and using some of the tracking tools in Final Cut, it'd be really easy for us to go ahead and pin this to somewhere as well and just have it follow along the screen. So again, something I think is really helpful and is much easier than having to build it yourself. One of my favorites though has to be the zoom effect. The zoom effect is something that's real simple, but I think it's gonna come in handy so many times, it's just worth having. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag the zoom effect onto the timeline. As you can see, it's a nice natural zoom where it kind of has this ease in and ease out feel to it. So it feels like a natural kind of zoom. Again, I see this being quite handy for things like screen recordings and tutorial videos, because it is something that, again, if you wanted to have to do it manually and add keyframes and make sure that there's easy ease, easy ease ins and easy ease outs, it can take a little bit of time, especially I'm very used to it now in After Effects when building motion graphic elements. So I really like the fact that this is just a simple drag and drop operation that you can throw into the timeline and it's good to go. 
And lastly, what I wanted to show off is maybe some of the transitions as well, which again, they're not over here in the titles pane, they're actually over in the transitions pane over here. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of different transitions we can use. Some nice sort of elements that are a bit more unique than just like a fade or a push or anything like that. So what I really like about it is this one here kind of matches some of the opening graphics. So you're starting to get a bit more consistency across all of the different elements. So I'm gonna drag this one over to my timeline. So I've gone ahead and just added one of those transitions now to the side to this clip here. Let's have a little bit of a look. All right, as you can tell, this isn't any M1 Max chip Mac, but it is definitely getting through it. And again, I think it's quite a nice transition, something that I'd expect to see on a YouTube video of a like, high caliber YouTube video. And having that transition just really helps out, again, saving a lot of time having to build it yourself and having to build these animated elements yourself. Yeah, so hopefully what you're seeing right now is how simple and easy it is to go ahead and add these elements to your video what sort of value they can bring to your video as well. If you're someone who doesn't want to be creating custom elements or doesn't want to have to be dealing with a bunch of templates from a site that you've had to go in, find them, download them, edit them, adjust them, render them out. I think this is really quite a great pack. And as I said, very high quality elements that aren't just sort of pushing you into a corner where you have to use them a certain way. You can really go ahead and adjust quite a few aspects of them hopefully to a point at which when you're using them, it doesn't feel like everyone else on YouTube is using the same thing because you kind of have your own unique element and unique twist to it. So for me, I'd probably go ahead and change things like fonts, colors, obviously, um, things like opacities and drop shadows. And then once you start to get a little bit of consistency in terms of you kind of use the same things over and over again, in a way they kind of become a part of your video, they be become a part of your channel. And that's something I really like about this particular pack. And that's the video. What are your thoughts on MTuber and do you think it's worth the price? I think this is perfectly suited to people building their YouTube channels who want a simple and easy way to make their content look and feel more professional. If you're someone who uses Final Cut Pro, having something like this to quickly add these elements is such a time saver, even if you don't use the full set. Thank you once again to Motion VFX for allowing me to try the plugin and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video as well, please like it and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next one.